The recent increase in health litigation in several Latin American countries and around the world, called the judicialization of health, is the reason why there is a need for states and societies to ensure that their health systems and health policies are transparent, participatory, and subject to accountability. In order to contribute to the redesign of health policies that are based on human rights, Saluderet Cho was born in 2010. Saluderet Cho is a collaborative learning initiative that reflects the willingness of countries seeking realization of the right to health through dialogue and joint action between the interested actors and institutions. Saluderet Cho is also the result of the confluence between the Inter-American Court of Human Rights, the Pan-American Health Organization, and the World Bank. During the fourth Latin American meeting on the right to health and health systems, over 125 representatives of Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Mexico, Peru, and Uruguay, plus Kosovo, Montenegro, Macedonia, Albania, worked enthusiastically on the following objectives. Create initiatives and national and regional alliances on transparency and accountability that are specific, powerful, and efficient. Strengthen our shared understanding about transparency and accountability. Sharing knowledge, experience, and results achieved in the Saludrecho Initiative. The Bogota meeting added continuity to the global meetings in Salzburg in 2012 and 2013, and the previous regional meetings in Costa Rica, Argentina, and Brazil, in addition to other collaborative learning sessions such as national meetings, virtual dialogues, webinars, joint drafting of texts have allowed Salud Red Show to generate an active network of institutions and countries that are all working towards the realization of the right to health. The fourth meeting was led by the Government of Colombia. It included the participation of the Ministry of Health and Social Protection the Superintendents of National Health, and the Ombudsman's Office. It included the participation of the Constitutional Court of Colombia and was supported by the Norwegian Agency for Development Cooperation, NORAD, along with CMI, the Christian Mikkelsen Institute. It was important to bring the Salud Arecho Initiative to Colombia because the country has been at the forefront of the issues related to the right to health. This is why we thought it was important for Colombia to be the host. One of the conclusions I'm beginning to draw from these discussions is the immediate difficulty on the subject of how the law is conceived as an individual right, but the point of public policy is to emphasize the reconciliation between the collective and the individual. To achieve this goal, participation and accountability are very important. As many of you know, Three of the world's leading scholars on issues ranging from human rights to the right to health guided and accompanied the discussions. Rights-based approaches to health are still reasonably new. Um, we don't have a tremendous amount of experience fully operationalizing them. Um, and I think now people are really starting to think about how would we measure impact. But it will require us to think about things like um, issues of uh, equitable access for all. Um, it will require us to think about a progressive realization um, that some countries have more resources than other countries, so we have to calibrate in that difference. So a health system, to conform to a human rights-based approach, does require effective, accessible, transparent mechanisms of accountability. If we do not think very hard about how do we use the resources that we have in a way that makes them stretch to provide as much as possible for as many as possible, we cannot realize the right to health in the best possible way in society. And that is what prioritization is about. The World Bank's use of the Saludred Show platform allowed countries to exchange experiences and analyze the situation in each country. It also allowed participants to make contacts and alliances and propose national, binational, regional, and sectoral interagency actions. It's very rewarding to see what other countries are thinking, especially new ideas. 
We have an ideal space to learn from each other, because we have common problems to end inequality. Many of the groups have expressed a commitment to work on the issues emphasized at this meeting. As a result, the countries were able to propose changes and processes through specific actions in each of their countries. Argentina will work on the creation of a right to health network of universities and academics. Brazil increase the availability of relevant public information on access and delivery of priority health care services, addressing at the national level some of the technical groups that currently support judiciary accountability in the states of Minas Gerais. Costa Rica will bring two new bills before their Congress, one augmenting local participation in decision making and two giving greater access to information. Colombia establishment of a national platform for dialogue around a new social contract on health, benefit plans, and service delivery. Chile, design and the implementation of a national policy to improve service delivery and financial protections in the case of rare and orphan diseases. Mexico, preparation of the Mexican Atlas of Health Care and Service Delivery. Peru, Establishment of the National Platform for Policy Dialogue to increase the capacity of stakeholders to improve service delivery. Uruguay to improve transparency and participation in priority setting of their health benefits package. Western Balkans design a regional collaborative learning initiative to improve service delivery and access of health care services. The evaluation revealed the fulfillment of the objectives of the meeting and showed an effectiveness of the methodology used. Despite having been such a large group, it has been very disciplined and we have achieved in time the goals for all the delegations. 94% of participants reported a high motivation to continue to participate. There is the way to implement and materialize the ideas that some of us are trying to develop. For us, it's wonderful to look back and check that for some ideas that seemed abstract in the past, we can say nowadays that something has been done. 92% said that understanding on transparency and accountability issues improved and 91% gave high importance to the political dialogue of stakeholders. Improved access to health care and the progressive realization of the right to health is a goal in which many of the countries around the world are working to achieve. We'll have to very carefully apply a human rights-based approach to what is there and then health professionals, human rights, uh, professionals and many others sitting down and thinking about well how has this got to change to conform to binding national and international uh, human rights law. The strengthening of dialogue, governance and joint action between various actors and institutions is a goal that the World Bank through its Salud Show initiative is trying to achieve through national and regional and sectoral commitments.